my three major uh, installed so we're gonna click on just leave it on the yes I want to restart my computer now I'm gonna click finish Windows is shutting down Okay, rebooting. Now I left that uh, darn CD in the CD-ROM drive, so we're getting that stupid press any key to boot from CD. Uh, again, just ignore that. Okay, in fact, I'm going to take out that CD now because I no longer need it inside the drive. Okay. So now, this again is just the stupid little take a tour of Windows XP balloon. You're more than welcome to, you know, check it out if you're not too familiar with it. Um, otherwise, just click the little X. Okay, now you notice right here, um, you can't really see it in my video, but you'll be able to see it on your screen. Um, uh, the, the little speaker button that shows that your audio drivers have installed correctly. In fact, I'm going to remove my thumb drive. Okay, safe to remove. A little bubble is just telling me that it's safe to remove. Okay, now we can actually click on the internet and boom now that we've got our drivers installed it uh, gives us the internet as well as higher video settings if you notice now it's full screen it's not black around the corners no more and uh, basically you know we're still gonna need to activate windows and do the updates as well <clears throat> now you can either let the computer set idle and um, it'll you know eventually start downloading the updates on its own or if you want to speed it up a little bit just click on start come over here to control panel single click on it and oh, there's our activation window okay you click on it we're gonna go ahead and get the activation out of the way let's activate windows okay the top one here is yes let's activate windows over the internet now you wanna click on that make sure the little green dot lines up on it click next the next screen is asks, asks you if you're ready to register with Microsoft we don't really need to register with it um, the bottom one right here uh, as you can see it says uh, well, no I don't want to register now let's just activate Windows so click on the little green dot and click next it's checking for uh, connectivity and Padal thank you you have successfully activated your copy of Windows so that's why that code is important it's good for you know generally one machine so it it's their whole anti-piracy thing okay now back to uh, control panel here uh, in case you forgot what we were doing you start go to control panel and then in this little box here uh, where it says see also you get where it says Windows update go ahead and, and click on that and it'll open launch the uh, browser for Microsoft's home Okay, this is asking you, do you want to run and install Windows Update? Just go ahead and click yes. Okay. Now this is just telling you get the latest Windows Update software. We've made improvements, blah, blah, blah. Click on this one right here, install now. 
Windows update is downloading and installing the updated software. Here's the download already at 50%, 63, 75, 88, 100%. Key, now you'll see the numbers go back, copying files, and then the registering. Okay, now you can always go exp uh, express, which is get high priority updates or you can also select custom I like to go through custom just so I can see what's um, exactly updating but Express is, is probably the better one for uh, beginner users uh, that way you, you know as a fact that you're getting um, you know all, all the proper updates Okay, this is just the stupid little, when you send information to the internet, it might be possible for others to see that information, you want to continue, just make sure this box is checked with the green check in the future, don't show this message, and then click yes, and that's the last time you'll see that. Okay, now, here is the updates that it's, uh, first set that it's found, now right here, it says details where it will actually show you what updates are there or you can just click on download and install. I'm going to click on details. Okay, and see it's found about four of them. One of which is this one right here, the Windows Genuine Advantage Validation Tool. Now if you're running a cracked, hacked, pirated, or illegal version of Windows, this is the last place you want to be because these guys right here are going to pick up on it and um, which really you should just somehow go and get yourself a uh, legal copy now I just clicked on the download and install now and we're gonna let it do its thing basically what it's telling us right now is downloading updates and and what updates they're downloading and then after that is finished it'll start initializing uh, installation and um, start installing each individual update Okay, installation complete. You must restart your computer. Okay, we're going to restart, and um, other than that, you're good. My, uh, I took my CD out, so we're not going to see that stupid uh, press any key to uh, boot from CD, which, like I said, after the very first time um, doing it, when you're ready to partition and format, you, you, you don't need to worry about pressing any key after that. But... Um, other than that, uh, there it is. I mean, it's still got some more updates to do, Service Pack 2 and all that, but I'm not going to waste the time with um, showing any of that. Again, with the stupid take a tour of Windows XP balloon. I always just close that damn thing out. All right, hope that was uh, helpful. And, uh, you know, uh, um, if it was, please, you know, rate, comment, and uh, subscribe. Uh, I appreciate it. Uh, thanks a lot and uh, best of luck to you.